NASA and ISRO are working on interesting stuff like human space flight program. American TAR, an American company, has more mobile TARs in India than in the United States today. Number of US companies have huge R&D centers in India, but Indian tech companies are also contributing to United States. In the last few years, name any sector and we have a story to tell. For example, NASA and ISRO are working on interesting stuff like human space flight program, synthetic aperture radar. This is helping us to monitor the implications of climate change. Take IT. I don't know if you know that American TAR, an American company, has more mobile TARs in India than in the United States today. Healthcare, COVID-19, and we have the Surgeon General here. I may amaze some of you that the cost of rotavirus, which was developed during the last phase of President Obama's presidency, came down from $60 to $1 because of bulk production and partnership of United States and India. And we were able to distribute it to Africa. Come to the present times, Corbavax. This is a product, a US product of Texas, which is bulk produced by BioE. The cost of it is $1.5. And it can be stored and moved in normal temperatures. So similarly, number of US companies have huge R&D centers in India. But Indian tech companies are also contributing to United States, $80 billion to US GDP. 600,000 jobs are being created. So this relationship is a two-way street. And trust is become one of the most important foundations right now. As Prime Minister Modi has said, much of India that we dream of lies ahead of us. So it's only a journey we have started. We look towards our friends like the United States to join us in our journey.